Hello everyone. Welcome back to one of our Oracle Database DBA tutorial. Today we're going to learn Oracle Data Pump. So uh, the idea is how to export the full databases, how to export full database using EXPDP. So the first step in order to export the full database, we need to have a directory which we can store our dump file there. So the first step, go to the uh, your Linux server and make this directory. Oracle. Issue Oracle. Make directory minus p. This is our directory name. Under user one, you can create data pump directory. So the directory is created. Next is connect to the database and create dump directory. This is one of the important things. So let's go and connect to our database. My database name is OEM. So create, create directory, dump directory as, and this was the directory that we have created previously. So we're going to point this dump directory to use this directory. Create, create directory, dump directory as user1 data pump. So this is the directory we're going to store our dump file. So this directory is created. Now you have to grant permission of that directory to the system user. Grant read write on directory dump directory that we have created right here to system user. Grant succeeded. Now this, the main idea is how to export full databases. So in order to export full databases, I am going to create a script of par file. Par file. So what you're going to do is go to directory, go to directory u01. And what is the name of that? Uh, data pump that we have created. Okay, go here. Exit from here. This is the directory we're going to go there. CD data pump. Let me see. We don't have nothing here, but we're going to create our script right here. So what would be the script name? So my database name is OEM. So export full OEM dot par. The script name. I'm going to create a script. We I export full OEM database as par file. So now press I to insert and go to your PDF file and copy this one. If Make sure you have to specify full is equal to Y because this is going to export the full database. And directory was dump underscore DIR. And dump file is going to be full OEM and percent U dump file. This a uh, well card is used when you have more than 20 dump files. So make sure to use this well card. Ampersand U dot dump. And file size 4G log file is full OEM and today's date. Today's date is 12 29 2023.log. 
parallel 4 and flashback time sys timestamp and exclude statistic fully wide directory dump directory dump file full oem will cart dot dump uh, file size 4g log file full oem and today's date dot log parallel for flashback time make sure to use flashback time sys timestamp and exclude uh, statistic so skip button colon wq 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 so let me read this script okay so my script is fully wide directory dump directory dump file is this file file size is this log file full oam and parallel for flash flashback time sys time sys time stamp and exclude statistic so make sure to give permission to this script okay so so i have this script right here so we have created our script and export the script it is ready to be run so let me double check okay everything looks good uh now let's run the export job as no hub so we're gonna run that uh export the uh, script with no hub so let's let's do it export oracle sid to my database and This is the syntax no hub xpdp backslash single colon forward slash assist dba and backslash single code par file so because we the our script is par file so we have to mention par file <coughs> is equal to uh the the script name our script name is xpdp full oam dot par and and So let me make sure xpdp full oem dot par xpdp full oem dot par. So we're gonna run the xpdp script as no hub. Okay. Let's check the lock. Okay, this is no hub. Uh, let me read this one. Tell minus two hundred f and no hub <clears throat> oh there is an error unable to open light the dump directory is invalid okay let's check the the script because there is something wrong with <clears throat> with uh, our directory okay uh vi hpp dump directory yes here i forgot to use u dump directory okay save the script and let's run again no hub xpdp system power file and this is our power file let's run it okay you can control c then check the logs okay it's working as you can see the first dump file is generated but we can check uh, the logs
Okay. As you can see, our our export uh, job is started, and as you can see, the logs it showing you the progress live that the XPTP job is running. Control C. Okay. <clears throat> There's a question: How to check the export job status? like let's say how much of the uh, the export job status is completed <clears throat> so you can check uh, with this query okay first you need to find the job SQL plus this dba okay let's check this is our export job uh, job name. So make sure to find the job name. Uh, exit. And how you attach this job name? XPDP and as DBA attach equal to, and this is the job name. We're gonna copy from our database output xpdp assist dba attach and this is the job name as you can see so this is the status process name w2 work waiting and uh, uh, let's check and the mode is full the instance name is oem and this this much byte is processed if you want to know more option of this just type help it gives you all the information if you want to check the status just type status as you can see completed object 2000 and the total object is this much so we still need to wait because from 7368 objects as of now 2000 objects are completed again if you want to check the status just type the status let's say uh, uh, someone has called you to stop or kill the the progress export job so what you can do is help and and then you can stop the job so kill job detach and delete jobs and reuse dump files means override destination dump files if it exists start job start or resume current job let's say you stopped it right and then if you type start job it's gonna resume status let's check the state the job status if you stop the job then again you want to start then this is the start job so again, let's check the status of our progress. Okay. There you go. So this is the way you can check the export job status. Also, you can check the logs here. PWD, PWD. As you can see, we still have one dump file, two, three, four, five, and still the job is in progress. It keeps generating the dump file for the full database. And this is our logs. If you want to check, this is our logs. And as you can see, our job is still going on. okay as you can see job sees export full 01 completed with two error let's check the error What's that? that's not something critical error but i don't see any error here what i can do is more uh, logs okay here 
no errors no errors everything looks good looks good looks good that's very minor error which is not critical and we should not be worried about that so this is how you can check the logs okay what was the name of the logs let me check this is okay okay our job is completed so thank you guys this was the way how we can export the full database if you like my video please hit the like button and please uh, subscribe my channel that means a lot to me that's gonna by subscribing my channel that's gonna motivate me to create more videos and you will be the first one to be updated and to be informed by new videos and thank you so much please share my channel and please subscribe my channel thank you so much and see you in the next video the next video is how to export uh, only schema so today's session was how to export the full database but in my next video i'm going to uh, teach you how to export only schema not the full database thank you so much